This is a, a good Helmuth moment. Um, interrupt whenever you want. This is uh, this is definitely a, a really good hand. Uh, Helmuth is getting involved here with uh, with King Queen. Um, this is going to be a three way hand. Freddie Deep also involved, and then. Um, I believe, yes, there he is, Mr. Oh. Greenstein as well. And Barry Greenstein calls it a 10-8 offsuit. So it's three handers of the flop. The boys are gambling, Sean. Chips are flying. Did you get enough back? No, Net five worths more, are changing. Five more, five more, five more <laughs> yeah, I thought I got the right one back. Two eights and a queen, so Greenstein's got trip eights. And Phil and Freddie have flopped queens. Everybody's got a hand, and naturally everybody checks. And here's the turn, a deuce of hearts. Yeah. Um, and Phil bets 1500 Phil not only has a pair of queens now, he's got a king high flush draw. And I think Phil's convinced he has the best hand. I got 36 years to get as good as you. Be an eight. Be and Deep raises the $4,000. <laughs> now, Weird. Freddie Deep That's thinks he has the best hand. But they are going to find out. 15000 15, and they found that right then. Find out. 15,000. I don't love either. And they really. found that right then. <laughs> and Phil did not like that. Greenstein re raises the 15,000. So we, we, got a, we got a bet raise and a three bet on the turn. This is a little much. I think, like, first of all, I think, well, I think I know what Freddie's thinking, right? Freddie's thinking, like, he wants to freeze the action with this raise. Like, he's putting in the small raise here to find out where he's at and not have to put any more chips in. And now it comes back to Barry. And if I'm sitting there with the eight, like, I'm not too worried about draws. I mean, I, you, you know, you have to be somewhat because the flush draw did turn, but you could be dead here. Like Freddie could have ace eight, you know, eight, nine. Are you, are you willing to just get it in with the three eights and the 10? I think I'd be more inclined to just flat the bet and hope that Phil comes as well, just in case I'm beat. And also, you know, to get a little more action. Cause obviously Freddie's done. Like, I don't think he's going to think that Barry has anything but an eight. if not a full house for Phil. This should be an easy fold, but no, we're Any about ball? to find out. It's, it's the exact opposite almost. No, he's supposed to fold here. I mean, somebody's <laughs> got to have an eight. Uh, uh, Freddie uh, definitely um, got enough information there for uh, for his liking with the three bed by Barry. Um, Come on, quit wasting our time, Freddie. Wasting time. Oh, no, he's wasting got a good time. hand. And of course, Mr. Sunshine, Sean Cheeky <laughs> has something to say. <laughs> Tell me what you had. I'll leave you. Threw an eight away. I mean, Phil must just think Barry's on air. Rivers another wow. eight. Yeah, you would have made that. Oh, I would have made four eights. Barry looks like he's wondering if Freddie Deep really had an eight. <laughs> now, this is Actually, important would... here for, like, when you're figuring out how to size, right? So every player is different. And when you're talking about a guy like Phil Helmuth, there are exploits that you can do against him. Like, if you bet way too much, he will fold. Like, imagine right now you just bet all his chips. Phil thinks, like, okay, I bought 100000 I want to be on the show for a while. So there's different types of psychology that are entering into the, you know, conversation here. He probably doesn't want to rebuy another 100 or something. So you want to size it where... You specifically target a queen, and you ask yourself, like, how much will he call? And I think you could bet here probably, like, 30, 35000 and get called. All right, let's have a look. It's a great card for Barry because it might make Phil call here. Greenstein bets thirty five grand. Yeah, thirty to thirty five. Good Sp bet. Spot on. Phil should realize here it's very unlikely that Barry oh, has a lone weird. queen ace queen or like him king queen barry would not come over the top on the turn after phil bet and freddie deep raised if he just had a queen he just beats nothing i mean there's just no way that barry has more likely here. barry has kings aces <laughs> or four eights one second here. he doesn't have aces or kings phil just said he doesn't think he can fold this he's talking himself into calling Maybe he's putting Barry on the nut flush draw, the ace of hearts and another heart and absolutely nothing, just a bluff. I supposed to love that. He calls. Helmuth calls, and Greenstein shows him the missing eight. Barry Greenstein takes down a huge pot worth over $150,000. Phil's real chance to escape that hand was on the That's turn. Henry. Yep, I'm absolutely sure if that right. deuce was not the deuce of hearts, yeah. Phil would have got away from that hand right then. Well, this I mean, that's the, the lesson, right? Like, flush draws are awesome. But when the board pairs and it goes raise, re-raise, sometimes you just have to let it go. Like, you know, a game like PLO is an extreme example of that, where you wouldn't even consider it, right? Well, in this case, with, with the action, the way that it came out, I mean, listen, if you hit the heart, do you really think you're going to make a big payday? You might not even be able to bet. Somebody might have the ace-high flush draw. Somebody may, uh, you know, already be full. So you don't want to call with draws on the turn when even if you hit it, you're not, you know, sure you can even bet it, you know, confidently.
Right. And funny, you, that's like really funny you say that. We'll, we'll get to a hand later in the show where that directly applies and this time you're involved. Um, let's let's watch Helmuth uh, send himself into orbit. Think of Barry Greenstein's comeback and the poker rat Phil Helmuth gives himself a timeout after losing two-thirds of his buy-in. 